Yo guys, what is going on? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how you can improve your ping and network connection in game while playing CSGO if you are experiencing high ping or packet loss. Now, unfortunately, there is no straight up fix to this, but I can give you guys some tips and tricks, basically almost completely eliminate this problem. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now to start off this video, the first thing I do have to say is make sure you guys are running on an ethernet cable. If you're running on Wi-Fi or if you're really, really far away from your Wi-Fi router, if you are using Wi-Fi, try running an ethernet cable to your PC or a computer or try moving your setup closer to your Wi-Fi router so that your connection is as best as it can possibly be. Keep in mind, running an ethernet cable will always be better than Wi-Fi, so it will be an automatic massive difference if you do run ethernet. Once you've done these things, if you do wanna check your network connection to see if it's improved at all or just to check your network connection overall, you can go ahead and click the link to speedtest.net down in the description below and click go when you go to this website. What this is going to do is it's basically going to track exactly your internet speed and how it's going to work. So as you guys can see here, it's kind of reading my speed. I'm getting an average of maybe 90 megabytes per second with a ping of about 20, which is actually pretty good. This will go through two tests. It'll basically estimate your ping right away, but it will go through two different tests to estimate your download speed and your upload speed. As you guys can see here, my download speed is about 94.3 megabytes per second and my upload speed is about 10. Your upload speed is always gonna be lower, keep that in mind, but your ping is mainly what we're looking at here for in-game purposes. Again, 20 is pretty good. Playing with 20 is definitely a lot better than playing with 50. A lot of people have said there isn't a massive difference right there, but there actually is a noticeable difference in-game. So keep in mind, the lower the ping, the better, even if it's only by five or 10. Also, keep in mind that if you guys are experiencing any problems with your Wi-Fi while doing this, or just experiencing any weird glitches with your internet service, you can always try restarting your modem, wherever that is located. That is basically what powers the ethernet signal that's going through your house, and also powers the internet signal that goes to your Wi-Fi router, which then connects to your computer. If you are experiencing weird little glitches in game, or even while you're doing this speed test, try restarting that because that could solve your problem right there. Not restarting your modem, or even your Wi-Fi router for long periods of time, can always cause little hiccups and that can be a big difference in game if you're paying for some random reason shoots way up high and then comes back down five ten minutes later another thing you also do want to keep in mind is the amount of bandwidth that you have but the more bandwidth you have the better and basically the way it works is bandwidth is the amount of internet that is going to every single device in your house all the devices that are connecting to your modem for internet services if you're playing CSGO and you notice that your ping spikes randomly all of a sudden when say someone might be watching a movie on the TV downstairs versus when the TV is completely off that could be low bandwidth problems meaning you don't have enough to go around to everyone in the house if everyone is using it all at the same time and if this might be a problem for you basically you want to try to limit the amount of devices all using the same network all at once like i was saying the more bandwidth you have the better your connection and speeds are gonna be now if you just went through all of those steps and they didn't really solve your problem and you're still experiencing some internet problems while playing csgo or experiencing just high ping in any game the next thing you can try is if you come down here to your search bar and type in task manager all you need to do is type in task and it will show up click this and open up the task manager from here come up to the top and click performance and then come down here and click open resource monitor once the resource monitor is open come up to the top here and click network I'm already in the network tab so I don't have to click it but if you do not start in the network tab go ahead and click this now what this is gonna tell us is it's gonna basically show us which applications on our computer whether they're running in the background or whether you're using them right now are using the most of your internet services now some of you guys may only have a couple of things up here for me I have a lot right now because I'm using a lot of different things on my Wi-Fi all at the same time but what we want to focus on are the ones coming up here at the top and the total number that is showing for these processes as you guys can see here these two different iq services basically the corsair lighting application if you guys don't know what that is is using the most bandwidth right now and honestly i don't really know why that's happening but if I was in the middle of a CSGO game and I didn't want these programs taking up this bandwidth that I could be using to make my ping in game better, I can basically say, okay, IQ services are taking up too much bandwidth. If I exit out of this and come back into my task manager and click processes, then I can come down here, find where the IQ services are and shut them down. If you click on it and click end task, it will completely close down the IQ service and eliminate all of that bandwidth it is currently using. This is super, super helpful in making sure your network is not being taken up by background processes that you don't need running 
So if you have processes like this that you know will not completely crash your computer if you end them, they will very much help your internet connection and speeds in game and just all around on your computer. Again, as you guys can see here, IQ and Discord are the two programs taking up the most bandwidth right now and my computer will have no problem closing them in the task manager. But if I was to close something that is actually running my computer, as you can see here, there are many Microsoft processes running. This could potentially crash your computer. So be very, very careful about closing out Microsoft processes or Intel processes if you have an Intel CPU. Mainly just stick to closing out programs that you know you've installed and you don't need running while you're playing a game. Now, one last thing you can do to make sure CSGO is running the most efficient way possible with your network connection, you guys can come back into Steam, click on your library and find where CSGO is. Go ahead and right click CSGO and click properties, which is gonna open up this window. Now, many of us CSGO players have probably seen this before, but what we wanna focus on here is the set launch options button. From here, this window is gonna open up. And again, a lot of you guys have probably seen this page already, but if you have it, this is basically the window where you can paste in commands that will start up with CSGO every single time you boot up the game to help optimize the game or force settings best for your computer. Now, I already have these commands. We're gonna put in copy and paste it, and you guys can go ahead and copy them in the description below. I'll have them typed out there. But basically, go ahead and copy those commands in the description below and paste them into the box right here. Now, I'm not gonna go through all these commands right now, but basically, what each of these commands is going to do is it's going to help CSGO communicate with your network provider as efficient as possible, making your ping and gameplay latency as low as possible. Once you have this copy and paste it in here, go ahead and click OK and you're all set. Now, once you guys have done all those things, you should notice your ping will be running a lot lower and your game should be running a lot smoother in terms of your internet connection. But basically guys, that's about it. If you guys do follow those steps, your game should be running a lot better. Make sure you guys are trying to run on an ethernet cable and if you can't, make sure your computer is as close as possible to your Wi-Fi router, allowing for the best connection. Make sure you guys do not have a ton of devices taking up all your bandwidth and make sure that you close out all the programs that are taking up a ton of bandwidth that you don't need open while playing CSGO. If you guys do all of that, your game should be running a lot better and a lot smoother and be getting a lot lower pain. But anyway, I hope I was able to help some of you guys out. And if I did, make sure you guys don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below. And if you do have any further questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments section below or click the link and hit me up on Discord. My server is linked down in the description below and I'll be happy to answer any of you guys' questions there. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. What you waiting for? What you think we came here for? I wanna see you dancing, moving, moving like your pants off.